Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Let me stop bullshit. Look right. Today, I want to talk about who are you? Who are you? Anybody ever ask you that? Who are you? Just think about it for a second, right? If I ask you, who are you? What would you say? Would you tell me your job? Would you tell me how many kids you got? Like your parental status. Oh, I'm a I'm 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 a dad with three kids. You know what I'm saying, do you do you when people ask you who are you, do you say I'm him? <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this, who are you? Is because a lot of people they don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. What you mean by that, huh? Glad you asked. Right? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Half the time. We don't even know who we are. We don't. Let me explain it to you. Right? When you when you young, right, a young child, it seems like there's a question that every adult wants to ask you. What question is that, huh? What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? Think about that. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm pretty sure you probably don't even remember and you're probably not even living what you told what you told people when they asked you what you want to be when you grow up. I think when, when I was asked that question, I said, oh, I want to be a movie star or I want to be, I really didn't know what I wanted to be as a kid, to be honest. Outside of a movie star, because I just, I thought being like famous was the thing, but it's really not. Even though I'm on my YouTube page and I'm showing my face, you know what I mean? I'm not expecting to become famous. And if I do become famous, right? I'm I'm not gonna be in the public like that. Like, I'm to myself. I don't want a whole bunch of people around me. And if I do get around a whole bunch of people, it's cause we hanging out, we partying, you know what I mean? There's a function going on, you know what I mean? I just don't like chilling around a whole bunch of people. Why? Because I know who I am. Like, my closest friends, I don't talk to them every day. I don't have to. Because they my closest friends. Right? They know me. I know them. And whenever we want to catch up, we'll hit each other up. Somebody might shoot a text message. Somebody might, you know what I'm saying, call the phone. Somebody might, you know what I'm saying, DM on social media. Hey, bro, what's good with you? How you been, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? But let's go back to who are you. Let's, 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 let's dive into that, right? When you do something cool, People be like, 
yo, do that again, do that again, do that again. Because they, they want to see it again. They're like, man, that's amazing. When I was younger, you couldn't, you couldn't stop me from doing backflips and somersaults. And I was like a little, I was like a little, a little ninja for real. I used to always be running around, flipping, jumping, and you know saying all that goofy shit. Cause that's who I am. That's who I am. My my favorite movie as a kid was Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Some of y'all probably don't even know what that is, but a quick YouTube Google search, you'll be able to find it. It's basically like it's basically a movie about a man, a black man who aspires to be like Bruce Lee. Right? Without spoiling the movie, he basically, it's that old genuine, that, that, that old regular trope, save the girl, save the day. You know what I mean? Like, he, he wasn't saving the world or nothing like that. He basically was saving his family and the people around him from basically like some, some gang or some mobster who had a gang. Yeah, right. The reason why I like that movie, because there was a saying in that movie that stuck with me my whole entire life. What saying you talking about, huh? All right, Pete, right? In the movie theater scene, when show enough come up to uh, Ty Mac or Bruce Leroy, what, you know what I'm saying? However you remember his name, right? Show enough is, they in the movie theater. So enough comes busting the movie theater, you know what I'm saying, with his entourage, swinging his dick all over the place, talking about, am I the meanest? And they talking about, so enough. Am I the baddest? So enough. Am I the something, something more follow down around this town? So enough. Who am I? So enough. I can't hear you. You know what I'm saying? So, he was just like a, a, a supremely arrogant like um, martial artist, and he wanted to be the best. And Bruce Lee was Bruce Lee Roy was the only other one. <laughs> he was the only other one that was quote, quote unquote standing in his way and becoming a martial arts master. Right. So in that scene, when he he busts in the movie theater, he do all that. That, that, that big entrance, right? He sees Bruce Leroy in the crowd and he like, Bruce Leroy! Like he, he call him out. Like, I wanna kick your ass. He call him out in the movie theater where all, everybody's in the movie there watching this Bruce Lee movie. I think it was um the one where he on the island, he gotta fight the guy with the claw, horn or whatever his name. That movie, right? Long story short, show enough press Bruce Lee in the movie theater and Bruce Lee, he, he was just chilling. He like, bro, I'm not trying to fight. I'm good with that. The quote that I want to touch on is this, right? Show enough press him and Bruce Lee, he responds like, he says this is this exact quote. The secret awaits eyes unclouded by ambition those who are bound by desire seek only that which can be held within their hands you hear that i'm, I'm gonna say it again the secret awaits eyes unclouded by ambition those who are bound by desire seek only that which can be held within their hands. What does that mean? I want you to think about it for a second. What does that mean? If it was too much for you to remember, pause the video, go back a couple of seconds, listen to it again and again and again until you got some type of idea of what he's saying. Give you a second. Go ahead, think on it.
The secret awaits eyes unclouded by ambition. Those who are bound by desire seek only that which can be held within their hands. That stuck with me because it was so profound and so deep that I didn't really understand it until I got older. I always liked how it sounded. It just sounds so philosophical or so, so deep, right? What I interpreted that, um, that statement is, you are only able to see the reality, see things for what they are. When you're not bound by lust, greed, you know, all these things that make you wish you had this or want to have that, right? You'll never be able to see the truth, the reality, when you tunnel vision to materialistic gain, when you tunnel vision to trying to sleep with that, that girl, when you tunnel vision to just trying to get everything out of life, accomplish all your goals. Sometimes you gotta chill, you gotta rush, you gotta relax. You gotta you gotta sit down and reflect and like, is this really what I you sometimes you gotta ask yourself, is this really what I wanna do? So again, who are you? Who are you? If people ask, yo, who is that? What would they say? Your closest friends, your mother, your, your, your children, if you have any, your siblings. What would they, what would they say? Who, who is that? Oh, that's my brother. Who is that? Oh, that's my sister. Who is that? Oh, that's my dad. Right? But it doesn't explain who they are, their identity. Right? Your sense of self or how others perceive you. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this, and if it hurt, it's probably true. You don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. Most people don't. That's okay. Most people don't know who they are. Even me right now in this very moment, five years from now, I'm probably not going to have the same perspective, the same ideals, or the same outlook on life. Because we're always changing, growing, and evolving. So who I am today may not necessarily be the same who I am tomorrow or the next the next year right define yourself who are you what do you want to do who do you want to be right who you are is not what you do who you are is not your title like on your job who you are is always up to be defined. So what I'm really saying is you never really know who you are unless unless you are absolutely certain without a shadow of a doubt that you're not going to change. You're not going to be swayed. You're going to stay this exact way for the rest of your days. You know what that is? That's called stagnation. So you should always be trying to better understand yourself. And what I'm really saying is, you never know what type of things you'll like until you try them. Don't kick it till you try it. Because you could be like, oh, I would never do that. I would never do that. When I was a kid, I said I would never smoke. never say never because you don't know right I got a perfect example I got a perfect example of how you don't know who you are right let's say you meet a girl right 
she mad classy. You like, man, she, 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 I like this girl. She, she's, she's humble. She's genuine. She's easy to talk to. She has a, a high level of understanding about the things that I talk about. But you are gonna see a totally different side of that girl if you play this one song. Back that ass up by Juvenile. You's a big fine woman when you back. All I'm saying is Play that song <laughs> at a party. <laughs> Matter of fact, just play it on the humble. You know what I'm saying? Like you got a chick in your car, right? Y'all cool or whatever. Just play that shit and just see how she react. I'ma tell you. <laughs> I'ma tell you. <laughs> you don't know who a woman is until you see what kind of music she listen to and how she get down when she at a party. <laughs> I got one for the dudes too, right? You got a dude, he always getting into fights and scuffles and all that. He a tough guy, he hard. He don't never bow down, he don't never apologize. <laughs> right? Watch what happened when he loses his mother. Or, watch what happened when he, mm, I almost tripped on a rock. Watch what happened when he get locked up. Bro, a lot of times people put on airs, people put on a facade, an image, sometimes just as a defense mechanism so you don't bother them, so they ain't gotta have conflict with them. There's a lot of reasons why people pretend to be something or someone that they not. Right? So, sit down and reflect on your life. Who am I? Am I a teacher? Is that who I am? A football player. Is that who I am? When you get off the football field, right? And you go home and y'all have you have dinner with your family, right? Are you a football player at the table? Are you waiting for are you waiting for as soon as as soon as your people's to bless the food? Are you waiting to just encroach into the potato salad like are you are you when you when you hanging out with your homeboys and shit and somebody step out of line do you be like hey bro flag on the play off sides five yard penalty take that shit back are you are you always do you live football is what i'm saying do you live are you are you a football player but do you live breathe, eat, sleep, and shit football? No. No, you don't. And why do I say that? Without even knowing you, right? You might be in college right now get preparing yourself to go to the NFL or NBA, right? What are you going to do if you don't get that call, if you don't get that draft pick, what are you going to do? Are you going to go play for the D leagues? I mean, like the, the, the you want to play arena football overseas or something? I don't even know. Rugby is probably what they doing overseas. But, like, If you change who you are around other people, you don't know who you are. If you are afraid of what people think about you, you don't know who you are. 
if you if you see something that's working and you and you follow that mold that module or whatever to try to get the same success as somebody else you've seen do that you don't know who you are so how do you know who you are You know who you are when you stop second guessing yourself, when you stop doubting yourself, when you stop looking for answers in other people, you start looking deep inside, you start reflecting, you start doing your inner workings, right? When you know who you are, you don't allow people to tell you who you are. What you mean by that? I got you. I got you. Right? You in a relationship. And the person you in a relationship wants you to do. They want you to compromise your morals. They want you to do things that you are always against. <clears throat> They want you to go places where you're not comfortable, right? And if you go along with the get along because you're extremely attracted to this person or you don't want to be alone, you don't know who you are. You don't, bro. But let me tell you this, if you wake up today, tomorrow, next year, and you still don't know who you are, that's okay because you still got a chance to define yourself in whatever way you choose to. Don't allow the people around you, the people you work with, the people you go to school with to tell you who you are and to define you. Like, it's something, it's something I remember from this sermon that I listened to. Before all this stuff with T.D. Jakes came out, you know what I'm saying, like, there was something that he that he had said that um that resonated with me. He said the clapping and clamoring of people can make you drunk until you forget who you are. He also said when you allow people when you allow people to define you, you can't find yourself. You running around trying to people please, you know what I mean? And these people are pleased to make you into whatever they need you to be. So when you always people please and trying to fit the mold and all that, people are going to use you and manipulate you, abuse you. They just going to have their way with you. They just going to have their way with you. Because you don't know who you are. You don't stand for nothing. So you fall for everything. Right? So in conclusion, I want to ask you this. Who are you? How do you present yourself to other people? How do you carry yourself? How do you learn and grow? This is, this was more so a video to get you to think more in depth about you, your life, and what you want out of it. Because if you allow other people to choose your path in life, you're never gonna be happy. I wanna ask you, Whose standards, excuse me, whose standards are you trying to live up to? Whose? Who's, whose approval are you trying to gain? Whose acceptance do you wish you had? Who are you trying to get to like you? Drop all of that. 
Drop all of that. If you've seen the last video, you know why. Life is easier when you don't have to pretend. Stop pretending. Right? Stop pretending. Take some time. Get away from the crowd. Try new things. And open up a new layer of who you are or who you could be. Because every day that we wake up, we get another chance. If we, if we fucked up yesterday, we can make it right today. So, Professor Hawk signing out. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's getting closer and closer to the things that they want to see happen for themselves. I hope that y'all, you know, talking to your higher power, God, or whoever, whatever you believe in. I think they all the same thing because they just interpret it or give it or give the deity different names. But like I'm saying, man, I want y'all to keep waking up every day and keep grinding. Keep working on yourself. Keep bettering yourself. Keep expanding your mind. Expand your horizons. and You know, just try new things. You might try something new and find something about, about yourself that you really like that you never even knew. Because you don't get outside of your comfort zone. You don't do different things. Just try to do something different. And it may even give you a new perspective on who you are or who you truly want to be. So, class is dismissed. Professor Hawk signing out. Namaste. <laughs>